Brandon Moreno yeah. and Davison Figueredo will fight for the third time this weekend in Anaheim. The trilogy. Brandon Moreno and Figueredo had an all-time classic in the first fight. The second fight, Moreno may have had the greatest performance as a challenger in a title fight that I have ever seen. I think of Rafael Dos Anjos against Benson Henderson as a challenger. Conor McGregor when he knocked out Jose Aldo, obviously. But Moreno's performance in Arizona was on par with that. How do you see this fight this weekend taking place? And how excited are you that Moreno gets to fight Dustaguerra, Davidson Figueredo, for the third time in Anaheim? I, I think this fight goes differently than both of the first fights. I can't see him, I can't see Brandon uh, Moreno dominating the way he did in the second fight, submitting Davidson uh, Figueredo. But, Figueredo. but I do think that Brandon Moreno wins. It's something, when I watched the first fight, and that's when I was really really first kind of not introduced to Davidson Figueredo, but it was the Figueredo, but the fights leading up to that was, was when I really learned about him and started to kind of dive deep into who he was. And dude's just a flat out monster. And then you see this, this nice yep. guy, Brandon Marino, walk into the ring smiling and happy. And he has the, the whole, you know, the set where he's walking in like this. And I'm like, oh, this is gonna be over quick. And he absorbed <laughs> punishment in that fight, DC. And not only absorbed punishment, but stayed the course, stayed with this skill, continued to pressure, continued to move forward. And in the second fight, he overwhelmed him from the beginning of the fight until the rear naked choke. And so I think that he has an understanding that he is not only as good or as tough as Davison is, that he's tougher and that he's better. And I think he wins this fight again, but I believe we get some of the first fight, fight's excitement, especially early yeah. from Davison Figueredo, who I know will be trying to prove a point that he is the true champion. You know, especially with him moving over to Arizona, training with mm -hmm. Henry Cejudo, uh, regardless of what you think of Henry Cejudo, he's a weird little guy. He's, 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 he can be annoying, but he does understand how to win, and he can train fighters to get to the next level. Let's see what his impact is on Figueredo. Now, Figueredo's a brute, right? That's what made people start to really take notice because he was knocking out people at 125 pounds. Who does that? He knocked out Joseph Benavidez bad in Abu Dhabi to win the championship after he knocked him out the first time but yeah. didn't make weight, so he didn't get the belt. Right. So the guy's an absolute brute. And when you saw Moreno stand up to that, when you saw him withstand Goodness gracious, that boy all ready the to roll. pressure, yes, you were like, wow, this kid's good. Look at look at how ripped up this dude is. This dude look is like you, DC. training down in... Uh, it, it, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, right? Back in the day, well, sometimes I still look like that. When you got but, hair. Um, well, yeah, I have hair, beautiful hair. But this guy is, is a fantastic fighter. He's a very talented fighter. But in the last fight, Moreno showed, fighting behind that beautiful jab, mm -hmm. really setting the tempo in the pace of the fight, that if he stays within himself, Davidson has trouble dealing with him. Yep. And I think he picked that up in the first fight. Mm -hmm. He was able to withstand the, 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 power. the, 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 the avalanche. Yeah. He was able to take the power. He was able to land things. And if there was any hesitancy on his part in fight one, by the time they got locked into the octagon in the second fight, it was all gone. Mm -hmm. And he pitched an absolute shutout yeah. to submit Davis and Figueredo in the way that he did. Figueredo's the one behind the eight ball now, RC, yeah. because he and Henry Cejudo and that team, they had to do some real work to try to close the gap on the assassin baby. Like, like, isn't that crazy, though? that Davison Figueredo <laughs> had to do work to close the gap on Brandon Moreno when he was fighting. Yeah. Davison Figueredo was fighting at such a high level. I'm telling you, going into that fight, I, I, I just knew that the power would be too much for Brandon Moreno to withstand. And it wasn't that he never tasted it. It wasn't that he never had to absorb that punishment. He just did. And he kept moving forward. And yeah. that was when you saw that he not only had the heart of a champion, but the chin of a champion, the skill of a champion. And as you said, the next fight, he pitched the shutout until Davison Figueredo tapped out through the submission. But you know what, DC? You got something to say? Go what ahead. was that? I was about to yeah, tap no, in, tap I'm out, just saying, for a guy, just one quick thing. For for Brandon Moreno, RC, and we've seen this with these athletes, a guy, Mexican kid, uh, grew up down there in Tijuana. You saw the mural drawn of him the day after he won the championship. To go through all that he went through, being outside of the UFC, getting cut, going to the ultimate fighter, was the last pick when they picked the teams. To have that opportunity and then to have it a second time, you, you knew, Ryan, 
you knew that he would take full advantage of yep. it. And now as a champion, his confidence is sky high. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.